Welcome to a second episode of On Campus. Today I'm at Hiram High School, actually filming in the audiovisual technology classroom, and I'd like to thank the students and staff who made this production possible. Um, my name is Brian Otot. I'm superintendent of the Paulding County School District, and I'd like to start with a few general announcements. First, I would like to thank all of our parents who came to our five community conversations around planning for Paulding's future. Uh, your feedback is greatly appreciated, and know that the summary report from those community conversations will be available on our webpage, and we hope you take a moment to review those. Again, thank you for coming out and participating in those conversations. I'd also like to draw your attention to another item that's on our website, and that's our Advanced Ed Accreditation Review Summary. In October of this year, we were visited by Advanced Ed, which is an accrediting association for public schools, and they provided us a summary of that visit. And to let you know we're extremely proud of that visit, I would like to thank all the parents, students, community members, and staff who were participants as well as those who prepared for that visit. I would encourage you to check out um, the final report. It's going to give you an idea of the strengths and areas of growth for our district, but I'd like to say I'm extremely proud of this report and do hope you'll take a moment to review um, it on our webpage. And finally, I'd just like to give our community a reminder about the Paulding College and Career Academy. It will be opening for the 1920 school year on the campus of the New Hope Education Center. Construction is going well, but I'd like to once again remind our students who may be in eighth grade or in high school, of the pathways that they can actually have access to on the Paulding College and Career Academy campus. And they are health with patient care tech. We also have an energy pathway um, that we would uh, encourage our students who might have an interest in being in that power or that Lyman field to take advantage of advanced manufacturing with megatronics and also information technology which focuses on cybersecurity. There is the application available on our webpage, as well as information about the Paulding College and Career Academy. Please know that if you have questions, to contact the district office so we can help our students and families know as much as they need to know about our Paulding College and Career Academy. Uh, just wanted to share those few announcements with you today, but I would really like to take a moment to introduce Ms. Misty Cooksey. Ms. Cooksey is the principal of Hiram High School where we're filming today. Um, on campus is really an opportunity to highlight the things that are going on in our schools. And I've asked Ms. Cooksey if she could just talk a little bit about um, her school and maybe highlight uh, some of the activities that take place here. Well, first, let me thank you for being here today. Um, we always love to have visitors come in and visit. We have some wonderful opportunities going on at Hiram, um, occurring currently, but also coming in the future. Um, currently, we have a couple of programs that are um, ongoing. We have partnered with Kennesaw State University for our Upward Bound program, um, which provides opportunities for students who may be the first in their family looking at going on to post-secondary um, college and universities. And we are, through the Upward Bound, getting ready to open a a drone technology program starting this summer for our That's students awesome. to work towards certification. So we're very excited about that. We also have, for those who don't know, a operating bank within our school. Um, we partnered with Members First Credit Union um, three years ago and created a school branch of Members First. It is operated by our students. They are employees of Members First, and um, the bank is open for students and faculty and district employees during lunchtime and after school. So great opportunities for our students to get in the workforce and experience, you know, opportunities for careers afterwards. That's incredible. We um, are also um, began last year our healthcare program. We began the CNA certification program and we actually had I think 13 students last year, all 13 who were in the program who achieved their CNA certification. So great opportunities for them as they move forward into their next steps after high school. We um, have continue to increase our graduation rate here at Hiram High School and are very proud of the work that our faculty and staff are doing with students and seeing the progress that our students are making as they move forward and looking forward to the future. We are um, looking to open in the fall of 2020 the Academy of Computer Science, a, a program that will be open to uh, incoming freshmen that year um, throughout the district with an opportunity to apply to come and attend a rigorous program in computer science. So lots of great things going on in our building right now. 
Well, that's incredible because um, the mission of our school district is, of course, to engage and inspire and prepare our students. But the vision globally is to prepare all students for success today and tomorrow. And those programs, just those programs you highlighted, really speak to that, giving kids relevant experiences where they can have something they can leave high school with, with possibly not only the interest, but the training and certification in order to, whether that be entering the job force, post-secondary opportunities, um, or the military. So, of course, Ms. Cooksey, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for allowing us to come to Hiram High School today. It was really a treat to be able to interact with your students and, of course, speak with you. And uh, we look forward to coming to other campuses in the future. And I'd like to thank our community for all of their support. Um, again, our mission is to engage, inspire, and prepare. And activities like this that we have taking place at our schools, this is an opportunity for me to let you know the great things that are going on in our school district. Thank you, and we hope that you've enjoyed this episode of On Campus. Good morning, and welcome to the second installment of On Campus. As you know, last month I visited North Paulding High School. Today I'm on the beautiful grounds of Hiram High School, and I'm very excited because I've talked with Ms. Cooksey, the principal, and she's agreed to let me actually drive a field trip for some randomly selected, incredibly talented students who are going on a field experience. This is gonna be a great opportunity for me to interact with students, but also feel the life of a bus driver. So I'll keep you posted on how things go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, randomly extremely talented students. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, randomly selected and incredibly talented students. My name is Brian. I'll be your bus driver on this field trip this morning. Before we get started, though, I think there's something that you all need to know. Um, as a school district and employee of the school district, we have desires for you guys. We, have, we want you guys to have the tools that you need um, here at Hiram High School and all of our high schools in order to have that experience that's going to get you where you need to go in the future. Do you kind of know what I'm saying? You mean you want us to be engaged and inspired and prepared? Absolutely, but there's more. What else? Do you get it? You mean you want to prepare all of us for our future successes today and tomorrow? Absolutely, but there's even more to that. Does, does anyone else know what I'm talking about? You mean don't stop believing. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. You guys hit it. As a school district, our mission is to engage, inspire, and prepare all of our students. And our vision is to prepare all students for success today and tomorrow. You know, that was incredible. Thank you so much. You guys get it. But you know, it's a beautiful day outside. Who's ready to go on this field trip? Yeah. <laughs> say let's go <laughs> <laughs>
I would like to introduce Mr. James McClendon, Hiram High School's media specialist. So James McClendon has been a part of the Hiram family for the past, this is his 12th year. He started off teaching in our um, special education program. He worked with students with learning disabilities. Six years ago, he made the jump to media specialist here at Hiram, and he has now been our media specialist for six years. He is amazing. He works with our seniors on their senior capstone, helping them to coordinate everything, their portfolios, and the part and process of it. He works and has trained all of our teachers on the Canvas learning management system that our district uses. Um, we actually have 100% usage of teachers of the Canvas program in our building, and truthfully that is thanks to Mr. McClendon. He has created this environment in the media center where our students feel welcome and able to go, whether to sit and read a book for enjoyment, whether to do research for a class. Um, sometimes we have students who go in there just because it's a, it's a happy place for them, and he has created that environment to make it open and accessible to our students. He's able to kind of read a student who may be struggling on that research project or something of that nature. He's able to read where they're struggling and what's going on with them and then be able to give them the, the specific support they need while still pushing them to take the extra step and to do their, their work. So um, he has kind of that innate ability to read our students and read our staff for what they need and how best to support them.